Welcome to Discipleship 24-7 YouTube. Hope everyone has a blessed day and a blessed week. I wanted to share something with you today that, uh, yes, routines, schedules are different, but we need to be satisfied. So I have routines on here from my assistant. Although my assistant has never complained, some of these routines I haven't used. <laughs> but assistant hasn't complained. It's always been a faithful assistant. And so like many, I have made adjustments to my routines and schedules. And again, the assistant never complains. But it doesn't seem the same because we are, some of us are missing our friends, we're missing family members, we're missing uh, going places and seeing people. It feels different. It feels unique of these new routines and schedules. We're not satisfied. I found this quote from Anonymous. Anonymous has really good quotes. And it says, To be contentment, or contentment is not the fulfillment of what you want, but the realization of how much you already have. Very interesting quote. The Apostle Paul shares with us a similar point that we need to look at the big picture. And that is encouraging, along with the uh, quote from Anonymous. Philippians 4, 11 says, Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. So yes, our schedules, our routines are different, but we are need to take on what the Apostle Paul has shared with us. To be content in our current situation with whatever I have. That is uh, interesting. That is such encouragement. Such encouragement. And but if you ever have time encourage you to rewind in Philippians 4. Rewind back to verse 6. And verse 6 says, Do not worry about anything. And said, Pray about everything. Tell God what you need. And thank Him for all He has done. When's the last time we've done that? When's the last time we have truly thank him for all he's done. And and just hope everyone's encouraged by this passage and just keeping everyone in prayer, praying that we keep our eyes focused on the Lord. Focused so that we can learn this contentment that Paul was talking about. Contentment that this anonymous person was talking about. And um, that we reflect also in Philippians 4 6, Philippians 4 11, and then Philippians 4 12. For I know how to live almost. Nothing with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with the full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. And again, Paul is just really sharing with us that we need to look around us to really truly think and reflect. And it goes back to verse 6. Thank him for all he's done. 
praying that we turn to the Lord to renew our strength, to seek. Uh, Isaiah 40, 27 through 31 uh, shares with us that we can get that strength if we trust in the Lord. If we trust in the Lord. But to those who trust in the Lord will find new strength and they will soar high on wings like eagle. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And that is encouraging to hear and read from Isaiah that we can get strength. Because if you backtrack in verse 29 of 40, he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. And sometimes we do feel that way. Sometimes we do feel a little weak, a little powerless. We feel like our strength is down. And so we need to get spiritually recharged. And keep our eyes focused on Him so that we can continue to face each day and take each day one day at a time. And to realize what Paul, an anonymous person, was saying that what we have is right in front of us. Hope everyone has a blessed day, blessed week. Thank you for watching Discipleship 24-7 video. I'm your host, Blake. Thank you. Keeping everyone in prayer. Keep our eyes focused on him.